What's up guys, Justin here for SNS Archery. In today's gear video, we're gonna show you how to correctly sight in your spot hog sight. In this video, we're gonna be sighting in the Fast Eddy XL with the triple stack housing. We're gonna get into initial setup, show you some adjustments that can be made, and then also help you out in selecting the right sight tape. All right, guys, getting right into this video. Uh, today, we're gonna be focused on the Fast Eddy XL with the triple stack housing. Uh, just know that this process is very similar uh, across the board with, with the other sites. So if you have the Tommy Hog, the Hogfather, uh, even the Fast Eddy, this is very similar. Um, but today's video, like I said, the Fast Eddy XL, we're gonna go step by step and show you what you need to do. The first thing we wanna do is get our scope housing relative to our peep. So this is important. Uh, we want to be able to see just a sliver of daylight or be able to see our ring system here with the MRT rings. Um, with a fixed base like the Fast Eddy or the Tommy Hog, you don't have much of adjustment at all, so you might have to change your peep sight if you're not happy with the sight picture. But here with the dovetail on the Fast Eddy XL, I've got a ton of adjustment. You can loosen that knob, move it in or out, and really fine tune what I want to see overall in the scope housing. The next step of this process is just getting everything leveled up. So this is our second third axis adjustment. Uh, the second axis adjustment going to be made with our bow completely level. Uh, ideally, you have it in a bow vise, but basically we're leveling our string uh, to the sight itself. So to make that second axis adjustment, we have these two Allen screws right up here on the front of the pistol. You loosen these, this whole housing is going to pitch, it's going to tilt, and that way that bubble on the inside can true up with the bubble on the string. Go ahead and lock that back in when you're done. As far as your third axis adjustment, this is going to take place on the new quick disconnect assembly or our third axis adapter, or what we like to call it here at the shop. This is crucial when you're shooting those steep angles, downhill, uphill. If you have the old style mount system, it's still going to be in the same location, those two same screws. Uh, as we tighten and loosen, that's going to bring in the scope housing, pitch it out or away. Now how we do this, how we initially set this up, we're going to come back to full draw be all leveled out and then we're going to angle down to about 45 degrees and we're going to take our pins and put them right in the corner of a wall or a door frame and just follow it all the way down watch your bubble level if it starts to creep you know you have to make an adjustment go ahead and put a little bit of pitch in that uh, and then just keep trying that until it levels out and you'll be all set up so pretty much that's the overall install now it's time to you know really start dialing in this setup so the first thing you kind of need to know is I want to give myself a lot of adjustment on the dial itself. So what I like to do now is go ahead and roll this basically up or down here on the pistol uh, pretty low to where, you know, I still have the ability to add that zero stop. First thing I'll do, I'll grab an arrow. I'll, I'll probably shoot at eight yards, uh, not at 20, uh, but at eight yards. That way that arrow doesn't really have time to get too high or too low. If I hit really close, I know that I can step back at 20 and shoot. If I need to make a small adjustment, I can just move up or down here with the dial itself. So I just shot eight yards, uh, hit pretty good up and down, but shot way left. So I need to make an adjustment on the six hole spacer, that quick disconnect assembly up front. If I start messing with the micro adjustment, because it's so small, I'm gonna run out right away. So first thing I'm gonna do is just jump the spacer over, move it to the left. Let's slide that over, drop it right back on the pins. And once I get this tight, I'll go out and shoot. And then if I have to make an adjustment, uh, if I'm real close, then I can go ahead and loosen my micro adjustment here uh, and then dial left and right to really fine tune it. The last thing I want to do now is I want to shoot 20 yards and make sure my elevation is dead on. All right, so I just got done shooting 20 yards. Had to make a small adjustment with my micro uh, windage bar here, uh, but everything's shooting good now. So now it's time to install that zero stop, this little piece here. So the first thing you need to do with this process is we need to remove the Allen that's up front on the rail itself. 
So that small screw, we're going to take it out on the bottom side. And then we're going to grab the zero stop and we're just going to slide it over until it meets up with the bottom of the dial itself. Once it's in position, go ahead and tighten it down. Once that's set, now I can put that Allen screw right back in the rail. All right, so the zero stop is installed. It's right here on the bottom. So with that set, I now can move basically up and down. I have that set. So my 20 yard pin, as long as I dial back down to that, it's gonna be right there. So the next part of this process is setting up our calibration, our sight tapes. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take the calibration tape. You can see the 20 mark here. We're gonna to try to line that up with the top indicator. So uh, if you don't get it perfect, don't worry, you can move that indicator down um, to line up with that line. We're just trying to get it close, close as we can. So that's pretty much good there. And I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around. So the 20 mark is lined up perfectly with the top indicator. All right, so I have my calibration uh, all set up. I have the top indicator set up on that 20 yard mark, the top of the calibration scale. Uh, like I said, if you do, do need to move that needle, go ahead and do it uh, just to get it right on that 20 yard mark. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this about, oh, a half inch down. I'm gonna move to 40 yard shoot, make sure I hit the target, and then I'll bump out to 60 and then actually sight it in. Now this entire time I'm still using the top pin, just remember that. So I'll go shoot 40 now. All right, so I just got it dialed in at 60 yards, still using my top pin. Uh, like I said, I started at 40, kind of rolled about a half inch, then I kept going out to that 60 yard mark. That way I didn't sell one. Uh, but it is set now, so now I can pick the correct sight tape. So this is pretty easy to do with this calibration tape. Uh, on your indicator, you're just going to look and see what notch you are. There's a series of numbers uh, down here in the red and black, and that's going to tell you what sight tape number you are. Uh, it looks like I am at sight tape number 11, so I'm going to go ahead, pull up my booklet, and go through find number 11, and then cut it out. So now that we have the sight tape cut out, I can get rid of the test strip. So I'm just going to reach in here. So get up here to the top. Go ahead and pull it back off. Now this step, pretty important. I'm going to take your elevation knob, loosen it, then roll all the way back down to your zero stop. Make sure you're all the way down. Go ahead and lock it in. And then I'm going to take my tape, try to line it up to where that 20 yards is right under that top needle. Now, even if you don't get that set, just remember you can move that indicator down. We already have our ballistics, our arrow drop within the sight tape itself. So we're just trying to line up that top indicator to our top pin basically. So now, now that I have that set, I'm gonna sight in my 30 and 40 yard pin uh, and that's it to this whole process. So right now I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna use my second pin down in the housing. So on the triple stack, my second pin is gonna be my 30. I'm gonna hold just the where I normally would shoot if I need to make adjustment, I will. All right, so both of my shots were low, so now I need to make an adjustment on the pin itself. So nothing with the actual dial system. All right, so I need to make an adjustment on my 30 yard pin, shooting a little bit low. So here on the triple stack housing, here on the side, you're gonna see three holes. This, each one of these holes has a set screw uh, that holds the pin in place. So just break it loose. And then here on the bottom is where you'll make the adjustment for the pin itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower that pin. All right, so I just got my remaining pins, my 30 and my 40 yard set up. Once those are stepped, there's only one more thing you need to do here on your indicator, your triple indicator. All we're gonna do now is move the bottom two to line up with 30 and 40. So looks like I'm 
like at 32 right now. So I'm just going to make an adjustment on the middle pin. All right, so I just got my 20, 30, and 40. All my indicators are corresponding back to my pins. Everything's set up. I'm pretty much done at this point. Just know that you know your sight tape might not be perfect, uh, but it's going to be really close. So you might, here I was at the 11, I might be a 10 or a 12. Uh, this is where you just need to shoot a bunch and make sure the indicators and everything's working out correctly. So if you guys have any questions about this video or anything in the store that we carry, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.